Welcome to my humble abode. I am Yorkie the Tail Spinner, and this is our morning wake up show, Tales Over Coffee, where I share a narrative tale and a coffee with you. To ease you into what we hope will be a blessed day. Now, it's time to return to the lands of Wildermyth and continue after our first chapter. Investigate Aflin Altar. We let one of our brothers go uh, and replaced him with Andy Cap, a new warrior. Now, cannot pass there, of course. There's Alder Dam, which we already have. Let's have a look up at Carver Shod Forest, shall we? And see what we can find there. Five Glens has a new recruit. Good. We'll have to go back there, won't we? And that's been revealed. But before we go there... I'm going to send them all there so that they can... All... Work together. Iran receives a challenge from the past. Let's see what this is. And the next thing you know, the homunculus has lost track of time, and then he's like, Oh nuts, I've got a book club to get to. All these entrails for me. Iran? Amy, you look good today. So you're saying I don't look good normally? Anyway, I wanted to find you because look, any idea what this note means? Who blinks first? Who gave this to you? Somebody must have seen you enter my room. It was under my door, but your name's on the back. Came with a map. A map. Yes, a map. Here, take it. It's not meant for me. And there she goes. I mean, honestly. Neither of us can resist an adventure, can we? Let's go. So this lady used to pick on you, this Galala. I wish I'd been there for you. Well, I used to give as much as I got, to be honest. Not that I enjoyed it. Much. Well, okay, what it was, we had this game we could play. A to challenge each other. A blinking game. Doesn't sound inherently vicious. What kind of rules did you have? Uh, there weren't any rules. Well, the whole point was about you're putting the situation on whoever blinks first loses. So that meant... Just going further and further until one of you backed down, right? Basically. So something happened, what was it? Um, well, the last time it happened, I ended up winning. But something went wrong. I didn't mean for Galala to be hurt quite so badly. Emphasis on the quite. And... wait, this is horrifying. Well, yeah, and it was stupid. I know it was. We didn't get anything out of it. It was just about pride. I haven't seen or heard from her in all that time. Amy? Are you serious right now? Or should I just let the you go through with this? So, I'm Iran. I've got this weird fascination with a girl from my past. We tried to hurt each other and often succeeded. Hey, she sent me a party invitation. I guess I'll stumble into her trap now. Did I miss anything? How about the part where I didn't ask you to come with me? Oops. Click does not sound good in this situation. Amy? Amy's foot has pressed a concealed trigger. Removing it will likely spring a hidden trap. Any shift of weight, any movement might release it.
Try to disarm it, why don't you? Amy, unable to remain motionless any longer, attempts to throw her body clear. Oh dear. A bolt fires from a concealed mechanism in a nearby stump. Amy? She's also her feet bleeding profusely but still breathing. Well, that'll be a scar. It's not over yet. Always one more wrinkle. Ooh, I remember when I was but a youngster and me and friends used to play in my house a game called Traps. Where we would set up traps over doors or behind doors that had to be opened by the victim. To have things fall on them or come flying downstairs at them, etc. It could be quite dangerous, but not this dangerous. Well, let's see what we've got, shall we? Interview. Discus. Oh, that was a boiler. That was pointless. Andy. Go there. And Guardian. And you, my friend. Amy. More damage, hobble two, nice. Three damage, two damage return. That's done. And the Guardian. Maybe. Six damage. A simple victory. And in Iran are now rivals. Oh dear. Gargoyle's Ruin. Hammer tier one. Uh, Andy, you can have that. By nightfall, Amy's wound is staunched, her fire gnaws on logs. She gazes into the flames. At least I've earned some pity points. I just did one more sweep of the area. Hmm, didn't you say she wouldn't have stuck around? Well, sure, but I've already gotten you hurt with my presumptions, haven't I? Don't blame yourself. Hey, it's okay, I'm alright. You're, you're feeling bad about it only makes it worse. Look, I don't know what comes next. It shouldn't be your price to pay, but Galala always put a lot of stock in fairness. Justice, so perhaps... Perhaps it's over score settled. And by perhaps, you mean... It's not a sure bet, but it's one I'd take. I'll tell you this, Amy. I've never... I've never thought you'd be the one at risk. I can't live with that, so I'll do what I must if it comes to it. The fire shrinks until it's just small blooms of orange light. Splitting the coals and quickly wilting. They lie together in warmth, and later they sleep. Neither will ever hear from Galala again. And she's now a blue horn mystic. Does not uh, burn out well. Okay, wood, linter salvo, liquid infernal rain. Actually, it's changed from turn ending action to single action, or humanist. Mechanisms applies poison to enemies who step next to it. Yes. Compassionate intellectual. What does randomize do? You recruit Snarky Greed Wagon. Who the hell are you? Has reached five clans. I've been waiting my whole life for this opportunity. 
Well, we haven't been around that long, but if you want, I could sign your, uh... Huh? Listen, what if I told you that my mother was a renowned cowherd? Not because she was any good with cattle, because she beat a bull god in combat and won her good fortune. And then Grandma... Legend is, she threatened to fl uh, a flood so severely that it turned on its tail before it reached five glens. Which is why this town continues to be known for its unmatched magical artifacts museum. I think I've heard that story. The point is my blood is the blood of exceptional people. You know what kind of pressure comes with that. And so I've been searching for a chance, any chance, to snag some renown of my own. Let me join you. Right, looking for you, you'll get quite a few chances. I think we'll go with her as a hunter. And then, off to... Off to the... Uh, uh, to gather. Send a party to that tile. Wait. Wait. Oh, we need to do this first. Recruit prepared. Twice per combat as a swift action, Yembera throws a jump jaw trap that will deal two damage and pin the first enemy who walks near it, or... Yembera has plus one speed, once per combat as swift, she can uh, activate the dodge the next two attacks against her. Interesting. I think we'll go jump jaw. And let's go. I wonder if you can have multiple parties. Now, Geist, watch my extra health. Extra health on Storm Throat. Okay. Where's my lucky coin? I hadn't pegged you as a lucky coin kind of girl. It couldn't have been the spoon or socks, could it? Had to be a coin. That coin is responsible for more victories than you'd think. I forgot it on a hunt one time and I couldn't hit a thing. Perhaps because you were distracted thinking about your coin? Uh, if you really loved me, you'd help me look. That's a bit of a mean thing to say. Iran, if I even knew where to start looking. Oh, that's it. What the? That coin is irreplaceable, and some creature is chewing on it? Oh dear. Well, he's gone in a cave, we should be able to get back up. Hey, over here. Did you get your coin? Not yet. But getting snapped up by Gorgons would make things much worse. I'll do what I can, but don't rely on me without my coin, okay? Maybe the Gorgons were able to snag it off that critter. Yuck, don't make me think about some gross tentacles getting it all sticky. Alright. Row 2, Geist 1, Bogma 1, quite a bit. And all quite visible already. Interesting. Right, interfuse. Discus. Seven damage. Two damage. Andy. Nice. 
Um, die. Seven damage, and that's done. Amy, the dog monster. No damage, but lost armor. Ten damage, nice. Open the door. And there are the other. damage on blocks. Nope, that's not going to help. Shoot. Dodged. Not nice. Five damage, three blocks. That's dead. Eight damage, and that's dead. Leaving just the one row. Interfuse. Victory! We seem to be doing well. We have a hurl axe, throwing axe. So you got the coin back. Yep, that little rascal must have had a change of heart and dropped it. It's kind of cute. You're kind of cute. Come here, little critter. Come on, you want to be friends? Give it to the hunter. I've always told you I have a way with animals. You literally never told me that. <laughs> Funny how people do that. And enemies improve their strength. Raccoon too. Move on to better things, I think, this time. Loot extractory has been cleaned up and put in good order. Time left for a few days of comfort. And let's explore further. The woodland seer has cancelled an incursion. Like stones our foes shall fall. Well done, Dan. Elder Willow Forest has been revealed. Nothing over that way. It looks like it's a circular world. So let's secure it, shall we? Okay, I've got one. Favourite fruit. Oh dear, blueberry, blackberry, cranberry, one of the berries probably. A hard question, I understand. Next up, a difficult one. Favourite thing to fight. That's like asking my favourite rash. Least favourite then. Hmm, might have to be gorgons. Is that because they're over the next hill? It's an ick factor, even worse than Strixie. 
they don't just move, they spread. They're like walking diseases. And here I am making a career out of them. I'm not that old, right? Sometimes I wonder if it's not too late to start over somewhere. I wouldn't, though, realistically. I, it's a dream of abandonment. Well, we appreciate that. What about you? What keeps you here? People are counting on us. That's a die-trying attitude, that is. Whether that was a wise decision on their part isn't for me to question, but now it's up to us to follow through on. Whatever cosmic promise we made by picking up these weapons, and us includes me. When you put it like that, it sounds big. Sure, it is. I don't know if that helps, or if it's too much pressure. I need to rename, um... Yambara. But it helps... It helps me when we get close enough to hear those... Gurgly bellows. Yambara. A need to kill. As we've heard, it's always a need to kill. A geist and a bogmoor. Andy, you can go there and you can guard. Guy, you can go there and you can guard. Amy. Cover, damn it. Discus. Taking them down. Anything up here? Possibly not. However, this room looks empty. Which would seem to imply we need to go through here. Indeed.
you can come there, die. God. Amy, you can run up here. Okay. One armor shredded, three blocks. And the cap. And then Amy. Amy's looking a little less healthy than I'd like at the moment. Blinded! That's done. You're ready for next turn. Die, can you do something? Absolutely, you can. Victory! Throwing knives! I think, Die, you can have those ranged weapons. Their enemies improve their strength. Great sea. Time to scout further, I think. Hang on, no it's not. It's time to secure this. Let's thoroughly explore because we do have someone, Anita, who doesn't have anything decent yet. Always strikes me how much there still is to find. Igneous ring. Uh, alright. Let's go scout. 200 days remaining. Ruin world has been revealed. Is that die up there? Yeah, it looks like he's coming back. Hey, it's just like Anita said. Crane stroke, he's just over the hill there. Time for a few pints and a hot meal. This is a waste of time. We still have a few hours of daylight. We should press on. Been travelling a lot lately, we could use a break. Tomorrow we fight, but tonight we drink. Come on, I'm banging the first round. Woohoo! Anita does not look happy. You all go on ahead without me. I don't feel like pubbing it tonight. Anita, you know what? I'll catch up with you later. Hey, how about you help me with that leg sweep move? What's wrong with you? Maybe I should give us some space. You mean a sweeping swallow? Oh, it's not... Just called the drop down spinny leg sweep thing. I spent a fair amount of time perfecting it. The least you could do is keep the name right. You don't have to stay just to keep me company. Now, nailing this move could save my life someday. That's it could. And practicing can't hurt, especially given how bad you were the last time you tried. 
All right, we have the board set up. We have Cunning. Anita and Andy flanking attacks this combat deal plus one damage. All right then. We have a Dweaver. And a Seeker. Any damage. Or damage. Guardian. Likewise, Guardian. Five damage. That's fine, it dodged but we blocked. Whoops. And that's going to be wild grass. And we have a Dweaver Guardian. You can try and shoot it. Blocked. And a thrust and a seeker. Interviews. Nothing around, so no. Three damage. Andy. And uh, now we should have die trium. Um Let's move you He's down. Guardian. And Amy. Try and hurt the Seeker. Dodged. Stats is four. That doesn't sound good. Ooh. And that little teleport thing definitely wasn't pleasant. Let's get you out of there. Five damage. Four damage. Andy. Don't care about the moose dashes because that's dead. Andy Cap is now a Bloodhorn Warrior. Andy grants an adjacent three temp health and removes negative status effects. Not bad. Reaction strikes per turn increase from two to four. If Andy ends his turn by moving, he will automatically enter Guardian, or... 
And you can enable, disable stalwart, which grants plus three armor and warding, but also reduce no. Let's have him heal. Uh, you can have that, Andy. Your second weapon. Duran, you can have some throwing knives. And we have Trix Bad One. I'm afraid we can't really spend time here. So, Aflin Altar next. We shall make our way there and scout it. And that's where we will end for today and join us tomorrow where we will try and conquer Aflin Altar. I have been Yorkie the Tail Spinner. You have been a wonderful audience. This has been Wilder Myth and the Chihuahua is probably off sleeping somewhere. See the Anon.